Welcome back! We're here again with Modern Skyblock 3 Departed. Of course, we left off pretty much exactly where we're starting today. I've got some torches, I've done some grinding, and we're ready again to keep going. So first of all, uh, I've been living off some of the monster jerky or whatever it is, putting some run flesh on there, getting that sort of stuff done. We've got our torches, pretty simple sort of setup, vanilla setup. So how about we get started on today's stuff, which is, of course, going back to Trusty Key G. Of course, there's a lot of cool things that we are about to do. So first of all, let's start off with getting ourselves some lava and blaze powder. And uh, besides that also, let's have a look over here, which I did recommend we check out at the uh, at some point in the last episode. And by the way, it's, it's awesome to see because I, I did the last episode. It's already gone out. People seem to have enjoyed this. And I'm really excited just to, to go through all the sort of things we're going to be doing and uh, having a bit of fun, learning a few things, of course. And what we want to do here, by the way, is we want to make ourselves some clay. And the way you do that, and the way that I've seen you do that, is uh, luckily, we've got we've got all this. So we've got ourselves some of these. We've got ourselves a bunch. Look at that, 8.6 millibuckets, which is eight buckets of water. So what we do is we shift, right click, and bam. Just like that, we've got ourselves some, <laughs> some clay. So let's grab that. And I think we're going to need a little bit more. So let's do that to another one. We can com we complete these quests like like no tomorrow, right? So that's pretty much the way we do it. And by the way, night time's no longer scary with these torches. Figured that out. And I also have died again because uh, I I tend to forget to log out <laughs> of things. Uh, but yeah, pretty much with that now we can go ahead and claim some stuff. And also I've got uh, some cool things to to have a look at very soon. So let's just claim that there. And now I guess we could go and uh, crucible is used for melting blaze powder blocks into lava. And crystal shards into crystal fluid. So what we want to do is we want to make a cobblestone generator. And we've got a few ways of doing that. And I think the best way, in fact, can I just... Uh, we're going to need to make ourselves a trash can. So let's just drop that off, drop that off, drop that off. And fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves this quick crucible. So if we take those out, pop those in. I don't know what it's melt. Oh, it might have been because I did that in, in the wrong order. So while that's going, we can go ahead and have a look at how we make some lava. So if we go back, pressing button G, getting into this, blaze powder block, we need some blaze powder. And uh, surprise, surprise, it's not the hunch that I've been having. I had, I had a lot of hunches last episode, but this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into this over here, the combustion. And what we need is we need gunpowder, we need to put it in there, and we get three, but for this block, we need four, so it's it's just a little bit out of the way, but that's not too bad. And you can see there's been quite a bit of, of mob grinding. I've even changed up the sword to now have uh, oh, well, I've made a brand new sword with a, a bone block or oh, a bone uh, a bone tool rod. That's it. That that one. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. There we go. So ah, you know what? You know what? This is I've worked out how this thing works. If you just leave stuff in here, like fuel in here it ends up actually burning through your fuel. So you're better off just putting in a little bit of fuel, doing that, and then doing it again, of course. And uh, I think we need to put a bit more fuel in. I, I learned this. So, it's, so basically, don't leave your fuel in. I've actually got some pretty cool tips. Tip number one, let's just get this out. Hmm, okay, we need a bit more, of course. So tip number one that I could give you is grinding out trees the best bet is, at least with acacia trees, using this plant matter to grow the tree instantaneously instead of staying there like twerking, twerking like crazy, hoping for your tree to grow. If you just grow them with this, you tend to have a positive amount of uh, acacia saplings dropping. So you can really just do it really quickly. And that's why we've got a bunch of those, some of those. I've just been sitting grinding it out, of course, as I say, because of the reason that we've had a, had a bit of background noise that I've had to deal with, which uh, might not be <laughs> might not be the same thing for you guys, but for me that means no video. So we got to we got to wait for that. And while there's while it's uh while it's there, you may as well make some use of it. So I've got a bunch of those. I really should have taken a bit of time uh, doing a bit of a bit of uh, cactus as well, but that's alright. That's not a big deal. And also some mobs, of course, coming out here, getting these guys. In fact, this is quite a quite a few. I never really get this many. And of course, player skin mobs as well. Don't know what they drop. I think they probably end up dropping their heads occasionally. So there we go. And those those can just despawn. Now we can have a look at these and get into our crucible, which I I don't know how it actually works. If it works similar to the uh, the standard X and Hilo crucible, but I'm pretty sure if you just put one of these, one of those, and then we need our blaze powder block, which was four of these, we should be able to get some lava. In fact, if we put lava in there, we can't actually make a cobblestone generator, can we? We need we need a bucket to do that. 
So we're going to actually have to do this out this way. I've just thought about this. We're going to have to do this lava out this direction to make a cobblestone generator. Which is actually very simple and I'll, I'll make a quick little setup for you real fast. Here of course is another one of the old school lava generators, at least skyblock lava generators. What we're going to need to do is we're going to put the lava in on this side and the water in on this side. And the real thing to do with this, which you, when you're saying, Jensen, you might be getting a little bit overcomplicated. If you've never played a skyblock, uh, you, you might not know what I'm about to do here, but uh, definitely everyone has once... Once in their, their skyblocking careers made themselves, uh, <laughs> made their lava into obsidian. That always happens. You just become a little bit derpy. But the trick to that is, if you put your water in two blocks away and let it fall down like this. Look at this. So the water falls down there. Any lava that spreads over this way, I mean, if, if it was the block, pr pretend that block was over here when this eventually becomes lava. If this was over here, it would be turned into obsidian. But because it's going to spread over, that spread over turns into cobblestone. So I guess we just have to wait. I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of waiting. And then what we'll do is we'll also go ahead and give it a try in this crucible. Because, I mean, we may as well. We've got enough enough gunpowder. May as well see what happens in all situations. And we do that there. Put one of these. Uh, just one of those in there. Maybe another one just for good measure. Bam. Uh, okay. It's there. Don't worry. We got it. And then we'll do this. So if we put this in here, it's still not there. And can we just click it in? That did say over here, right? It did say, oh, that's a wave. Uh, that's not the button I was trying to <laughs> trying to put on. Uh, so if we go here, so it says, put the block above a heat source and blaze. Pl well, it could also be obtained using a crucible. So let's let's have a look at that. That was weird. I, I swear it says. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it says they will replace the block blaze powder. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. I thought you could put this in here. Apparently not. All right. Uh, shift. No, still does nothing there. If that turns to lava, we really don't want that to be the case. So, while we're waiting for this to go, we may as well have a look into the future of this book. We can have a look at heat sources. We've already got ourselves some torches. Pretty simple, as you would expect. Heat providers, kind of give you a little bit overrun, an overview. And now we can go have a look into these, because as soon as these rocks, uh, these cobblestone, this cobblestone generator starts, we're going to have the ability to get ourselves some gravel, and we're going to have the ability to also get ourselves uh, some sand from them, which is also pretty cool. And then we can move on to the metal creation. So I guess we're pretty much up to date on that. But then whenever you feel like you're a little bit up to date on that, you've always got something to do, which is beautiful. It's This is actually the fun thing, as I say. If any of you guys aren't into modded, and I hope, I hope we've got some of you guys who have never played mods before, and you guys are just kind of looking like, what's this guy doing? you kind of seen the, the fun thing about it. You've always got something to do. You don't really find yourself at that point spot specifically with a pack like this look at all these look at all these quests look look it still goes it still goes it's still yeah that's right to overpowered to finish it so that is how long it takes to be able to get there so it's you don't really find yourself stuck not doing anything i guess we could go ahead and make a little bit of a, a spider farm by pushing this one one up the only only problem with that in fact we might be better off going out this direction uh, for the fact is that the spiders tend to go up and that's why i've always put these one block so I suppose if we do need one of those, they'll probably be very useful. Ooh, look at that. Okay, perfect. The reason... Now, here is the reason why I left that block out. You need that block to be out because, of course, you need to place some stuff there. But what I want to do is I wanted to make this so it doesn't fall down because I anticipated this. Uh, I have a thing over there. Cool. All right. And I guess I could just go ahead and, and grab this cobblestone. Hopefully, it doesn't fall into lava. Did we get it? No, we didn't get it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's actually not fine. <laughs> All right, so if we do something like this here, just temporarily, and we do these here, and by the way, these don't burn. There we go. Now it's working again. Wonderful. So if we just grab this out here, like that, first first cobblestone, we could go ahead and actually cobblestone this whole place around, which we will definitely do. But for now, I think we're all right. In fact, did that? Oh, you know what I did? I derped up. I did the wrong thing. I should I put a torch below that. I should have put one of these, and I think, I hope I don't place this into that block. If not, it's not a big deal. Let's just, there we go. Beautiful. I just don't want to have lava flowing down and water flowing down the ends like that, I guess. I could, I could also just go down there and hide that, but yeah, water's better than the lava. So we've got that covered. Now we've got some lava gener, well, co cobblestone generators, and we can go ahead and move on to the next stage, which is, as I said, breaking this stuff down. So if we do this, I think the recipe for this thing was, if I remember correctly, these like this so one one and one perfect stone wand so we've got ourselves that we need one more piece grab that one quickly the real the real good trick by the way for these things if i remember correctly was standing inside here or maybe not 
or maybe I think it was a half slab over here was my trick I used to do. So if you stood on a half slab here, you shouldn't get pushed by the water or the lava or get pushed up because I think it allows you to, yeah, it allows you to just stand there. So you can just hold down your right, your left mouse button. You won't break the thing below it provided you don't have a very good pick and you should be able to pick up majority of that stuff. That's a nice little, uh, a little, I guess, pro tip from an on-pro over there. And I guess now what we can do is we can go ahead and place these out. And we should have vein mana for this beautiful breaking. Um, really? This is to crush cobblestone, right? Let's just make sure we're holding down the vein mana button. Does it take that long? I can't believe that. Oh, no, we made a wand. <laughs> this thing looks exactly like what, what the others do. Ah, you see, it's close. It's close. I was gonna say that's uh, that's crazy. Well, either way, those ones are actually useful for for this exact reason, anyway. So uh, I'm not too not too upset that I derped up that much. So we'll take that one. We'll take this one, and now we should be able to do it. Of course, there's gonna be some derpage at some point in this. There we go. Grab that, and now please be faster. Oh yeah, it is. Good, perfect. So that's how we're getting gravel, and then I guess it is gravel to sand. I wonder is there dust because we don't have. Um, X Nihilo. What happens when we try and break s uh, sand with this? Does that... Yeah, it just stays as sand. As expected. Okay, wonderful. So here we can go ahead and look at the metal creation, the crucible, all these things here. But for metal creation, this is a pretty involved thing. So for a basic setup, you will need an alchemical fusion table, which is, uh, made like this. So we're gonna need some wood. I'm pretty sure this is just plain wood. I'm pretty sure just normal wood would work in that situation. We need to make ourselves some stone. We need this stuff. All of it's fairly, fairly uh, simple. And you can see this is in combustion. So we're going to have to make that recipe in there, which is blaze powder, gunpowder, and a bit of coal. So I'm going to have to grind out a whole bunch of creepers because we've gone through all our gunpowder. And uh, we'll, we'll get started on getting some actual metal, some real deal stuff going on in here. So that's what we ended up with. A really large mob farm. And by the way... This pack, just overall up till now, I've been having a really great time. There's been not a single point in this game where I've had to wait for something to grow or to happen. Or for these, for that matter, I just went and I expanded it. And by the time I was done, I went and built this piece here a little bit larger. And then I had anything, everything else I needed there. So it's really well balanced in that way, as far as I can tell, in terms of how we've come this far already. Not that we've been doing it for too long, but we've, we've definitely had some cool steps along the way. So one thing that I have tried is I try to go ahead and go press, of course, G, because we want to get ourselves some metal creation, which requires us to have one of these. And this alchemical f uh, fusion table requires us to use some of this primus alchemical dust, which also is needed in this, by the way. And that we need three gunpowder, two blaze powder, a charcoal, and the most important part, 335 HU. Now, as far as these HU are concerned, the other one had a maximum of, I think, 100 HU, and it wasn't working for me. So if I just pump it up with the, with all these, in fact, we need one of them for the recipe. Uh, but we just, we're just definitely going to have to grab a few more. In fact, I'm going to put those in there and get them going right now. So we need some of them. And also, this uh, this over here, I'm not too sure. There might be a trapdoor that'll work over here. But we don't actually have a trapdoor for us just yet. So let's just do that. Drop these in here, and we'll go one of them. Uh, it was two of them, I'm pretty sure, and then one, two, and three of them in there. And let's see if this works. Uh, I'll, I'll do a full block, just for the sake of it. That certainly worked. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I saw that HU drop really fast. Okay, so we've got that basic alchemy quest updated. We've actually got a few of those to cash in on. So, well, I mean, not that we really cash in, but uh, a few of them to to take our take our claims, I guess. And I'll take one of these, please. Well, actually, yeah, do that there. Keep it nice and efficient. Wonderful. All right. Perfect. All right, so 10 of these. Now, as far as I'm aware, let's just go into here again. What we need is we need to make one of them, which is just stone around the outside, and then also some of these. That's, that's actually fairly easy. So we have the stone around the outside, one of them. And by the way, as I say, with the whole thing of everything not having not being grindy, everything is sort of just well laid out, very slow, very, like, myth like very much methodical, really, as you go through this pack. And by the way, I actually realized why I mis misunderstood that as well. And the, everything's kind of just really well thought out in terms of not having you wait around for a while. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. The, the thing we just made, that would be the one on the top. So we've got ourselves our alchemical fusion table. Let's just cash in on these. It's gonna, it's gonna bother us. 
if we don't do it. So, gravel, complete. Take that claim. Uh, sand, in fact, the reason I hadn't completed that was because of the sand. And by the way, if you guys do get stuck uh, with claiming these things, some of them just require you to to actually go ahead and um, and compact stuff up. So making nine of something and using that to compact it. There we go. So you see the sand now? We just got the sand quest updated. So if we go basic resources, sand. Actually, this one didn't need it. Never mind. But uh, the others needed it for sure. Claim. Perfect. So we've got life infusion. We need that. What else do we need for that? A sandstone infusion stone. Is that just the same as before? We, we need some of these. Actually, let's uh, let's get rid of this. Man, I've got a lot of rubbish in my inventory. Right there and here. If I remember correctly, uh, we'll take these out. We'll make a sandstone. Yeah, one of them. And one of them. Okay. I guess that was... Was that really all we needed? That's a bit of a weird quest. Considering we had one already. <laughs> I guess... Oh, actually, maybe, maybe it's because we're not holding the other one. Okay, that's fine. We'll just put a claim to that. And, and we can obviously just go through these. Slowly but surely make knives. Actually, why is this one... That's kind of strange that this is behind all this stuff. That's very weird. That's very, very odd. That's all right. That's fine. We, we can work our way through here. So what we want to do now is, of course, just play along with it. Hey, what are you telling me this? I know my quest life infusion update is updated. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to make a little bit of a thing here. And this is where we're going to step away for a bit and have a look at what this was about. So we've got our alchemical fusion table, a crucible, two fluid droppers, and a condenser with a casing. And this is pretty cool. It kind of gives you, if you if you didn't figure this out yourself, you can always go ahead and look. And this gives you kind of hints. That's why I say that other book is probably the better way to go. And if you get stuck, maybe come around here and check it out. So if you click View Setup, this I'm assuming would have to be the alchemical furnace down here. So if we, or al what is it? Alchemical fusion table, sorry. Uh, because it's the only one without a, with, that's not, uh, not on there at the moment. So let's just actually go back in there and view the setup. So alchemical fusion table, one of these, I'm assuming the condenser is going to go in there and the fusion, uh, the water dropper and the other water or liquid dropper like that. Here it is all built and I think I figured this thing out. It's a very weird situation and you probably might get yourself stuck at some point on this if you, if you weren't paying too much attention. Such as myself, I thought I, I've kind of seen every piece of it and uh, I, I just didn't put them all together. But basically... What I decided to do was go ahead and have a look, and basically what you're going to have to do in terms of this crucible, and this is the first time of me doing it, so I may very well be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got this. I mean, if you're seeing this, I've, I figured it out. No, that's not what we want to do. We want those. Uh, but what you do is you drop in these crystal shards, and the way, yep, there we go. You can see it filling up. Actually, I don't know, I don't know how many of those I'm going to have to drop in there. So you need to drop in some of those crystal, crystal shards into that crucible. The other thing is, this alchemical fusion table, the way you get these crystal shards is by putting in some of those, uh, using this as the catalyst, and you'll see some glass will be turned into a crystal shard right around there, surely. Maybe another one of them? Yeah, I think we I think we need a few, yeah. So two of those into two of these crystal shards, and then also the other thing is, when you go, for instance, over here to the iron ore, and go over to the condenser, the way, what you need is you need to be putting in stone to the condenser, of course. You're also going to be needing to put in some iron, over here, this iron alchemical ore dust. So we'll need some rotten flesh, some blaze powder, and that'll, that'll create this iron alchemical dust. So if we go rotten flesh in there, I think it was two, but uh, I guess we could just do that there. Get rid of those. I don't understand what this zero is on these things. I'm, I'm not 100% sure about it. Uh, so we'll just get that out there, maybe put in another one of them. Another one? Yep. Uh, I'll have to work this out. So basically, uh, the last time to clear it, I just broke the table. Uh, but I don't know what it is, because you can't actually get that piece out. But there's nothing there that I'm aware of. Maybe if I just push that again. Maybe, maybe it means there's a partial block there. Okay. Or not. Alright. If I do that. Okay. Weird. I don't understand it, but that's fine. So if I do that. That is strange. That is very strange. So basically, we've got that filled up there. And I'm not too sure what this stuff is. But if we put in, I think, some of this, that does something. So basically what's happened is we've got this crucible which smelts down these shards. We've got these fluid droppers which will take anything adjacent to it with liquid and push it down one block. That's the way these things work. So that pushes it down into that block, which pushes it down into this block. So that goes into there. 
Do I maybe have to just put in a few more of these, perhaps? I, I'm not too sure, actually, about this. Let me just drop some of them in. Can I just drop a full stack? How about I, how about I just do that? Take the damage. And see, does this make a difference to us? That, that looks fairly... Fairly close to what we need. So we put that in there. Speed, efficiency. Okay, we, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with this one. Alright, we got this. So what I did by mistake, well, miss, uh, uninformingly, of, of course, is, uh, what we did is we had a look at this over here and we said that this block at the bottom, actually, where is it? It is right around here. This block at the bottom must be the alchemical fusion table, but it's not. There's no importance to it, and I kind of worked that out very quickly. And basically the way it works is that these shards up here that we've put in, uh, these have all melted away. We can maybe drop in another another 17. Okay, never mind. They haven't melted away. We just must have picked them up. So you can see them drop down there, and what's happening is the alchemical fusion table just kind of sits to the side. You just use it over here to make the stuff we need. So if we just put that in, and... Oh, those in there? And we should just see this being made like crazy. Then, of course, I could also put the glass in, make some more of those shards. But basically what happens is this stone condenser over here, because you could have made the, the, the wood one, I just went straight up to stone, will be putting out any items into the chest below it, or the inventory below it, which is there, some iron ingots. So that's the way it works, pretty much. Shards get melted in there, pushed down here, put into the liquid, Liquid works with this, and bam, you got yourself some iron, which is actually really simple when it comes down like this. So that's a nice simple way, and of course this is just optional, just so that it makes my life a bit easier, getting up and down this thing. And I can't believe that that was all 17 of those... What is going on here? How am I picking these up? So if I drop those there, those would surely be picked up. I don't have them in my inventory right now. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on. Let's just put these in here. Let's just make sure we do understand this. So that gets put in there. Why is this not doing anything? Perhaps we just have to wait a little bit. Although that's kind of strange because... Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just confused. Uh, of, of course, I'm actually definitely confused. What is going on here? Why is Why are these not getting picked up? I may just break that and see what happens. But as far as I understand, that should be picking them up, uh, picking them up and dropping them. So we'll have to figure this out. This has been actually a probably a really good episode in, if you guys were stuck like me. Yeah, okay, that's looking like it's just a timing thing. Honestly, it's just looking like it just takes a bit of time and then it eventually catches up with itself. So what happens here? See that? Two more of them made. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some more iron. Of course, that's just the way we have to do it. And that's, I think, a very successful thing we've achieved here. In fact, very, very good. So what we can, what can we do with the sign? You know, we've got all the sign. We know it's the next stage. But what do we actually do with it? That is progressing down the Tinker's line. And of course, we've got ourselves a basic smelting system going on. And I'm going to just collect that because we, we may as well while we're at it. So there we go. The porcelain smelter fully made. But there's one little thing standing in our way. And that is some of this gold. So what we'll have to do to carry on and in upgrade, <laughs> upgrade our tools, increase our productivity in this place, is we're going to have to start getting ourselves some gold, some automation going, and then seeing this place flourish. So for today, guys, I think that's a great way to end it off. We've managed to get ourselves our first iron, our first metals, get ourselves lava, get ourselves a full cobblestone generator. That's a big episode, and uh, it's been a very fun episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.